all the plant life growing naturally at a place is known as natural vegetation. It is the most important component of the biosphere. Earlier, we have studied that green plants are the major source of oxygen in air. Oxygen is needed by all life forms, including plants themselves, for breathing. Plants and animals are found close to the earth's surface, a place that provides resources and conditions conducive to the growth, adaptation and reproduction of the organisms living on earth is called a habitat. Most animals and birds have their habitats where trees, grasses and bushes grow. Living organisms need protection from their enemies if they want to survive. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Forest Grasslands Natural Vegetation and Wildlife All the plant life growing naturally at a place is known as natural vegetation. It is the most important component of the biosphere. Plants are the major source of oxygen in air. Oxygen is needed by all life forms, including plants themselves, for breathing. Plants and animals are found close to the earth's surface. Most animals and birds have their habitats where trees, grasses and bushes grow. Living organisms need protection from their enemies if they are to survive. Forests and Wildlife Tropical Evergreen Forests This region extends generally between 10 degree north and 10 degree south latitudes. High temperature and abundant rainfall throughout the year are the chief characteristics of this region. It supports luxuriant vegetation. Its main areas are the following. Asia, Malaysia, Indonesia and parts of Thailand, Assam in India. Africa, Congo Basin and Guinea, West Africa. South America, Amazon Basin, Brazilian Highlands and Coastal Lowlands. Characteristics Trees can grow to heights of 40 to 50 meters or more. At the ground layer, there are many types of herbs, creepers and climbers. There are no marked seasonal changes, so the trees do not shed their leaves in any particular season. The vegetation is mostly of the evergreen type. Commercially useful, broad-leaved trees include mahogany, ebony, rubber, rosewood and Ironwood Wildlife Because dense vegetation provides enough food, wildlife is also abundant. There are both tree-dwelling and ground-living animals. Elephants and rhinosaurs are found at ground level. The best known carnivorous animals is the tiger of India and jaguar of the Amazon rainforest. In India, rhinosaurs are found in the foothills of Assam and elephants in the western ghats. Tree dwellers like monkeys, slender lorries, Sri Lanka and India, squirrels, bats, sloths, tree frogs and lizards. Hippopotamuses, crocodiles and alligators are found near water courses. Characteristics Deciduous trees are broad-leaved. The trees shed their leaves during the dry period. These forests are more open and less luxuriant than equatorial forests. Important trees include teak, sal, acacia and some varieties of eucalyptus and bamboo. In India, besides the above trees, rosewood, ebony, shisham, deodar, khair and maua are also found. Wildlife Elephants, tigers, deer, monkeys and antelopes are found in the monsoon forests of Gujarat in India. While Indian rhinosauruses are now found only in the Tista Valley, West Bengal. Forests and Wildlife Coniferous Forest Vegetation It is an evergreen type of vegetation. We will later distinguish between tropical evergreen and the coniferous type of evergreen vegetation. This forest belt is located in the latitudinal zone of about 55 degree north 
to 65 degree north. Its areas are the following. Eurasia, northern parts of Norway, Sweden and Poland, Siberia, Switzerland and Austria. North America, from Alaska across Canada to Labrador. In India, coniferous forests are a part of Himalayan vegetation. Characteristics Coniferous forests are of the evergreen variety. They do not shed their leaves in any definite season. The trees are conical in shape. This prevents snow accumulating on them in winter. Leaves are thick, leathery and needle-shaped. This helps them to conserve moisture and check excessive transpiration. Coniferous forests are of moderate density and there is little undergrowth. These trees can grow as high as 20 to 30 meters with thick straight trunks. Wildlife There is sharp climatic contrast, especially temperature, between conditions prevailing in summer and winter. Animals living in such a habitat are well adapted to these special conditions. 1. Most of them have thick skin and are fur-bearing. 2. They have short ears, tails and sturdy bodies to help them withstand seasonal change. Fur-bearing animals include mink, sable, fox, lynx, beaver and others. Tundra. There is no vegetation either in hot or mid-latitude deserts or in lands of permanent ice and snow. The soil remains frozen for most of the year. Summers are brief and freezing winds blow from the north. This zone is located in the north polar region beyond the Arctic Circle. It is a treeless region as trees do not grow at temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius. In southern parts, some stunted trees and scrub vegetation can be found. In northern parts, during the brief summer, a large variety of grasses and flowering plants come to life for a brief period. Common types of flowering plants include such as lilies, mosses, poppies, buttercups, sedges, violets and lichens. Wildlife Among the common herbivores, are carbio and musk ox. There are also a number of rodents including lemmings. A large variety of birds feed on the insects that breed in shallow pools of stagnant water. In the oceans are found cod, a common variety of fish like sharks and herrings, whales, seals and walruses. In Antarctica, there are at least five varieties of penguins that are permanent residents and about a dozen more that come and go. Carnivores include wolves, polar bears and storts. A heavy coat of fur and a thick layer of fat beneath the skin protects them from the extreme cold. Mountain Vegetation Vegetation pertaining to mountain regions such as the Himalayas and Andes is called mountain or mountain vegetation. It varies with height or altitude. The same vegetation types that we have studied in latitudinal zones are repeated in altitudinal zones as seen in the table below. Desert Vegetation Desert vegetation is mainly of two types. 1. Hot desert vegetation 2. Mid-latitude deserts Hot deserts include the Sahara, Kalahari, and Namib in Africa, the Arabian Desert, the Iranian Desert, Thar Desert in India, and the Australian Desert. The mid-latitude deserts include the Gobi in Turkestan in Asia and Patagonia in South America. Vegetation of Hot and Mid-Latitude Deserts Vegetation of Hot and Mid-Latitude Deserts A. Aridity due to lack of rainfall b. Deficiency in humus due to absence of moisture, plants and animals. Salinity due to rapid and intense evaporation. Adaptation Long roots They penetrate deep, 
to gather moisture and search for underground water. Thorny Scrubs Desert plants have waxy, leathery or thorny foliage. This discourages animals from grazing on them. It also reduces loss of water through transpiration. Succulent Stems This helps plants like cacti to store up water and use it during long droughts. Lack of Leaves Desert plants have few or no leaves. Plants which do have leaves shed them before a drought. This helps such plants to conserve their moisture. Protective coverings of seeds Where species of grasses and herbs have seeds, such seeds have protective covers or tough skins. This helps them to germinate at once when moistured by the next rains. Types of Plants Desert plants which exist under drought conditions are known as xerophytic plants. These include bulbous cacti, thorny bushes and acacias. Date palms are found near watercourses. Babul, kikar, khair and some dwarf trees are also found in the Thar Desert. Babul trees yield a gum which is used for tanning leather.